Dear Diary, It is a phrase that has been used so often that it has become cliché. Equally as cliché is that the vast majority of self-help gurus will at one point or another tell you to keep a journal. However, just because something is a cliché doesn't make it wrong. A journal is a powerful tool, one that I've been using since I was in 8th grade. Here's a list of tips that will help you keep a better journal. Tip number one, use a paper journal. I always end up losing my digital ones, even if they are stored externally or in the cloud. I find the best journals are the hardcover kind you can buy at bookstores. If you can't afford a hardcover journal, a cheap notebook will work. Just mark it so that you know it's a journal and it doesn't get randomly thrown away. Tip number two, write in your journal every night, even if it is only a few sentences. This will help you develop the habit of writing in your journal every day. Tip number three, include the day of the week in your journal. This will make the journal much more useful when you reread it, since it will help you get in the right frame of reference. Tip number four, if you miss a day or two, don't apologize to your journal. I used to do this, and it was as depressing when I would reread my journal. The journal doesn't care, and neither will anyone who reads your journal. Just start writing it as if you didn't miss any time at all. Tip number five. Write in your journal a few hours before you go to bed. This will allow you to get the most of your day written down in the journal before you get too sleepy. If you wait till before you write, there's a chance you'll be too tired and you will skip it. I usually write in my journal at 10 or 11 p.m. when I go to sleep at 1 a.m. Tip number six. Divide your journal into sections with each section being a single area of your life. These sections are simple stash report where I write down what I accomplished that day. I will also use that section to write down if I didn't accomplish anything towards my project. Tip number seven. Have a section where you summarize your day writing about your feelings or any interesting things that happened. It's okay to have a meh day where you didn't do anything interesting. During those days, just try and find something small to write about. Tip number eight, write your journal so it is useful to you. Don't worry about the people in the future who might read it. Tip number nine, if you have something private you want to write down, just write down random code and draw a random doodle. For some reason, this will help you remember what you wrote just by looking at the doodle. Tip number 10, reread the last two weeks of your journal every morning. I find when I do this that each morning, it helps me get in the right state of mind. Tip number 11. When you reread your journal, don't get mad at your younger self. They didn't know what you do. Tip number 12. As you reread your journal, you'll notice year-long cycles. Try and understand these cycles to improve your life. So those were my 12 tips on how to write a journal and how to get the most out of it. Do you have a journal? Are there any tips you have to share? Comment down below like and subscribe.